Oh, no, welcome back to the channel. Now, the plan for today is we're going to fully strip out the RX-8. There's also got two modifications to go on as well. We've got a drift wing, which is for looks and things like that. We've got an aftermarket steering wheel as well, so hopefully we get it today as well, but mainly we're just uh, stripping out the interior today because it's going to take quite a while to do that because there's just so much crap to come out because we need all unnecessary weight gone and honestly because, well, because race car really. So, let's crack on. Right, so we're just in the process of getting the interior out now. The things we're going to move is also like the centre console, um, all the roof lining, uh, all the seats are coming out and we're going to remove the carpet, everything's coming out so also if anyone's needing any parts of the interior uh, before we bin it then also let me know in the comment section. Get away at that fucker. Oh, he's a fucking ton, isn't it? Oh, fuck it. Just one. Fucking one. Right, that's the car bag. Oh, fuck. Right. Uh, roof liner done. <laughs> oh. That's the interior nearly stripped out. It's just so fucking cold. The driver's side stripped out, and um, we've got all the roof lining now, and um, all the airbags and all that rubbish. So like I said, if anyone's interested in a full RX8 interior, it's got heated front seats, uh, leather rear seats, it's all in really good condition. So if anyone wants that, honestly just let me know in the comment section below. But where we're at the moment is like I said, we're just removing all the stuff from the uh, passenger side, like the front and rear seats. Uh, so all the roof line's gone, we're nearly done. So rather than show you the boring stuff, we'll just cut to this bit where it's all stripped out, it looks good. So, see you in a minute. Right. Oh shit, two seconds. Right, wash. Right. And also, I actually managed to make like, a map adapter for the uh, intake as well. Uh, like I said, it's just for the sound really, because, you know, it might not even actually gain anything from it, it's just for looks and how it sounds. So the plan is, obviously, we're going to get it mounted straight. I'm going to take it straight out of the bumper, drill a hole, put like a cold air feed straight into the engine, and that should look and sound pretty awesome. Uh, I'll probably need to replace the, uh, this bit of pipe here because we're just splitting it from when I just dumped that in there. But I removed the uh, kind of plastic bit off the original airbox and made it fit. And it fits perfect. So, you know, that's where we're at with that. And obviously, removed all this crap here. Like I said, any unnecessary weight is going to go, especially if it could have been on track and things. I mean, these things weigh 1.3 tons standard. So, if you can strip as much weight as possible, then that's brilliant. So, that's basically where we're at with that. Right, that's a spot on musty. It actually looks pretty awesome. I mean, we're not taking it seriously this car, it's just for absolute fun. I mean, it's on there and it's solid. It's just a cheap eBay spoiler, so it's just for looks, just for a laugh, so. That's a scene wheel off anyway. Right, now, all I do now is obviously remove this squib. Now, because this car won't be going back on the road again, obviously it won't need any of this kind of junk. So obviously I can remove this squib and then we can get to installing the new steering wheel. So Let's crack on. Right, that's the steering wheel on. Now, like, I totally forgot all my tools today, so I had to kind of improvise. <laughs> but regardless, that's it on. You know, it looks the part. Like I said, this is just, this whole car's just for, you know, fun. I'm not really taking anything serious with this. So, you know, we're getting there. So, that's the team we on. Um, I'm probably not going to bother actually widening up the horn because, well, it's going to be used on track, so it's kind of pointless, really. But anyway, I'll put in the kind of cover for there, just so it's got, like, just so it's not a big gaping hole there, so. Right, I'm actually trying to remove the sump next because, as you may remember, in, uh, I'm not sure if I've showed you before, but the sump's absolutely rotten, so I'll probably need to replace that as well. Either that, I'm probably going to take it home and go get a clean up, like, see how bad the rot is, and then I might just get it welded because it's just a little kind of pinhole. Might be able to actually cut out a little kind of like 
you know, section of it and then just weld a plate in. And hopefully, hopefully that'll kind of, you know, sort it because honestly, every single drop of oil in the engine is gone. It's all over the floor. It's that bad. So yeah, I think that's the next thing I'll do. I'll just kind of tidy up here and things like that. And they'll get to removing the sump and just kind of see how bad it is. So I'll crack on with that and I'll be back with the camera in a minute. Actually, scratch that. I probably won't be doing this up today because I actually forgot my tools. I probably said that sort of the video. Well, you know, I should have thought of that, but oh well. Anyway, but regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's video, even though it was short and it was sweet, but you know, it is what it is. We'll hopefully, do a lot more in the next video. Uh, we need to also remove the sump in the next video where I actually have my tools here. And also, avoid giving the car a little bit of a health check as well. Just checking over obviously all these spark plugs and make sure, you know, various bits and bobs like that are kind of like up to the scratch for obviously what we're going to use in the car for. Just so we know it's going to be reliable and track, it's not going to like you know, run dodgy or like, you know, break down or whatever. Because we do kind of need it to be set a little bit reliable for on track, but you know, if it blows up, then it's not the end of the world really. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.